Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, uh, to the Gating Invitational. Yeah, we have a knockout game um, for seeding placements. Uh, it's a it's a, a great derby. Yeah, we actually have Ram Sporting Academy One versus Ram Sporting Academy Two. Uh, as you can see, this game has just started. We are a couple minutes into the first track, and no goals to bring you as of yet. So uh, let's see who breaks the deadline. We have Rams 2 on the board and the white caps are Rams 2. The blue caps or the, the dark cap, it should be said, is the Rams 1. Um, so both teams at the moment not getting any of the edges at the moment, but we shall see how this game unfolds. We've got Andrew Ridley or, or Dory as they call him, the number three cap. He is a, a great player in the pool there. Pass just not going to hand. The referee not... Uh, says play on it's still in possession of the Rams one dropping off of him there back across to Bradley Whelan three seconds on the shot clock quick pass into a hole great goal there literally with a second remaining before the shot clock expired and that is the first goal of the game coming from Malcolm Uckerman great work in the center forward position uh, great pass must be said coming as well from Brad So Rams 1 do take the first blood here and uh, getting on the score sheet first. Um, with So just uh, an update, by the way, uh, with these knockout games, it is now four chuckers of eight minutes stop start. So playing time, that is a lot of polo to be played here. Tyron on the ball, looking for someone in the hole, moving the ball up to John Engelbrecht on the top point there. Foul coming his way, movement. Foul coming there. Still seven seconds on the shot clock. Ball moving out. Okay, great defense from the Rams too. They're not allowing the shot to come. Um, clever play from the, from the Rams there too. Also not trying to force a shot, but rather dumping the ball, allowing their defense to come back and set themselves. Uh, good work there in the center forward position. The over-the-top pass on the hand. Fantastic finish there from the Rams. Sporting two, number seven, that is Travis Kempen. He um, was great working there in the center forward, getting the over-the-top pass on the hand, perfectly placed pass. And all you had to do was just round the keeper, comfortable finish. So Ram Sporting to uh, looking to respond here. Ball moving into the, uh, the secondary hole there. Shot coming, great shot coming, and it, uh, it beats Wiggle in goals, but just hitting the crossbar there. Great steal from John o. John Engelbrecht working great in the center back position. There's a counter through the middle of the pool. He does spot some Ethan Haystack. One on one, great covering defense there. He works around. Referee not giving anything there. Ethan trying to get the half turn. Too close to the goalkeeper. Wiggle comes and steals the ball. Dylan Wiggle having a great tournament in goals for Rams 1. Booking once, booking twice, nothing else on. Comfortable save in the end there from the keeper from Rams 2. Uh, to be fair, there was nothing much else on there. The shot had to become. Keeper was nice and set. Braden van Dijk, I believe, is, uh, well, according to the system, he is the goalkeeper and the number 13 cap for Rams 2. Ball moving out to the right-hand side, wing again. He's got some space, tries to cross pass, uh, and the referee just calls for the reversal as there was inside the two meter. So the Rams too, putting in a nice good shift there on defense. They should have perhaps had a, a goal on the other end, but uh, it's all about taking your opportunities in this game. 
Tyrone Amoretti with the ball, number 10 cap, playing a quick pass into this, the hole. Grace work. Oh, fantastic goal there. That is a fantastic goal from Dylan Kempen in the center forward position. He rounds the center back. Wiggle comes to trust Hill. He rounds Wiggle and puts it into the back of an empty net. Fantastic craft there from Kempen. The crowd certainly enjoyed that goal. And just like that, the Rams too do get one back for sure. So as you can see, there's going to be a lot of momentum shifts in this game. One can tell. Calvin Cooper is uh, moving the ball on the top there. Oh, unfortunately, just fumbling in a bit. And it's a steal there for the Rams too. Counts on the left-hand side if they see it. Pass coming up. Great pass. Straight into the player's swim stroke. Gabriel Casavillan moves it to Ethan through the center forward. Does a little flick. The ball. And the referee has just given it there. It was a race between whether the ball crossed the line or not. And the ref has deemed it to have crossed the line. And just like that, Rams 2 finding some momentum. Yeah, getting the two goals back. And it's two apiece. Rams 2 going with a full overhaul change. Yeah, it looks like a new seven in the pool. Calvin Cooper is, he's, uh, you know, he can shoot from the outside. Moving the ball on the top three at the moment. There is a center forward drop, so an M drop is what they would call it. Shot coming, great shot there from the number four for Rams. One responding almost immediately, putting them back in the lead by one. Cooper Hayworth in the pool there at the center back. Zane Bauer also on the ball. He has got a good arm on him from the outside. A bit of crowding in the hole. Ball moves to the far left hand side. Great work there from the number six. Oh, the referee calling for the, the two meter. I believe that's actually on the number four cap of the Y team, uh, the Rams two. So the new rules is you cannot sit and stay with inside the two meter for a certain period of time. A wayward pass there from the player, giving the ball straight back to Rams two. Uh, Travis Kempton, he's on the ball at the moment. Looking for the pass to Zane Bauer, number three, giving it to number eight, which is Trent Horn. Cooper. Cooper looking for the shot. Great defense, great hands there shown from the defense. Uh, Callum Mierholtz, the great defensive effort there with the block. Calvin Cooper is foul there. Referee raises his hand for the signal that he can shoot straight off the outside six, which is exactly what he does. And Calvin slots it with the bounce shot. As I mentioned earlier, we know he can shoot from the outside and he has just indicated that right there and then with the foul outside six and a fantastic bounce shot. Seven seconds left in the first tracker. It has been a really tight game so far. Zane Bowers taking a shot, deflected, and goes out of play. There's still three seconds of the shot clock. So can Dylan Wiggle maybe take a long range effort here? Let's see. Oh, he tries to give it to say that overcooks the pass, and, and that does conclude at the end of the first chucker here against uh, Ram Sporting Academy 1 and Ram Sporting Academy 2. Scoreline is four goals to two in favor of Rams 1.
Uh, we're back underway here with the second chakra beginning and uh, Rams 1 taking the swim off yet again. Can they add to their two goal advantage going into the second chakra? Um, apologies if you were seeing the incorrect stats on the app at the moment. Uh, we are rectifying that issue uh, with the scoreline maybe, perhaps incorrect. Um, but that will be uh, fixed as soon as possible. In the meantime, as the polo is being played, it is four goals to two at the moment with the man up situation here in favor of Rams 1. Malcolm Ackerman on the ball, moving the ball across there. Dory with the ball on the left-hand wing. We know he can shot the slot, so he's got an arm on him. Quick pass on the hand to Malcolm. Great block there from the... Oh, no, great. oh unfortunately, it was just unfortunate for the Rams 2's point of view. It was a great post block, and the rebound just falling in favor of Rams 1. The keeper got a hand to that little back shot, but uh, snuck into the corner there. I believe that is uh, Sam Spooner with the goal, the number 14 cap. Yeah, we have Tyron Amoretti on the ball, moving the ball across to Ethan Haystack. Uh, on Siston, we do have just uh, putting it out there that there is a cap number um, incorrect. So Ethan's playing in the number five cap. You might see it on the app and um, that he's playing number 11, but uh, him and John Engelbrecht have swapped, or according to in the pool, Jono is wearing the number 11 cap and Ethan is wearing the number 5 cap. Great pass there from Zane into the center forward position. Gabriel Casavillan showing costume and all, but just couldn't quite get the power behind that flick shot. Oh, the Jono leaving the player there. Never giving up there. Oh, fantastic work must be said from the Rams won. Well, I believe that's Sam Spooner again drafting hard to get that five meter penalty. Uh, Calvin Cooper is stepping up to take the shot here. He's already seen his, his name on the score sheet. And he slots the bottom right hand corner. Great goal there. Uh, good intensity shown here from the Rams one. Um, playing to the whistle there, earning that exclusion, giving themselves uh, a comfortable lead at the moment. Uh, although in water polo, as you know, four goals never really is quite comfortable until the final whistle, and there's still lots of polo to be played here. Again, Tyron Amoretti on the right-hand side here. Jono helping him on the left. Drive coming through the middle there from Ethan Haystack. Drop down there. Jono has some space to perhaps have a shot. He opens, quick pass into Ethan. Just a foul there given. If he plays quick enough. Shot comes. Comfortable save from Dylan Wiggle. Josh Zeitman there, number 12 cap with a shot. Um, so the, just an update, oh, great block there from the back shot, great save from the keeper. Calvin Cooper is again in the thick of the action, trying to get his name um, on the score sheet for a third time, getting that hat-trick, but uh, I'll have to wait a little bit longer perhaps. Uh, just an update on the, the scoreboard as well as the, um, the app situation. See, we have seemed to have rectified it, um, it was just a confusion with the cap colours, um, but all should be in order now. The score should say 6-2 in favour of the Rams Academy 1, as well as the uh, correct goals according to the correct players should be all updated. Uh, another back shot coming there, this time from Gabriel. He's uh, grafting hard, the number two cap for Rams 2 in the centre forward position. Just been a foot unlucky at the moment to get that final, final touch. Cole Taylor on the ball. Moving the ball across to uh, Ridley. Quick pass there into the center forward position. Uh, unfortunately, the pass just out of, you know, the, uh, the advantage water there. Uh, comfortable uh, takeaway from the keeper. There's a man up situation here. Um, we're two players staying behind for the Rams. One, so. What do Rams do here? Do they play the man-up situation? Eight seconds left on the shot clock. Bit of, a, bit of a wayward pass there with three seconds to go. Zane needs to shoot. Zane does have a shot. It's a bit of a cannon from uh, past 10 meters, one would say, hitting the crossbar out.
Sam Spooner on the ball. Calvin Cooper sitting in the centre forward position, trying to draw the defender. Pass goes into Calvin. He gets the flick. He just fumbles it at the final play, trying to juggle between two hands and perhaps just doing a bit too much there. Uh, the steal coming from Zane. Uh, the intensity has slightly dropped here with both teams putting everything. It has been a long four days at the moment. Um, so the fitness levels are going to be tested. Great pass there from Tyrant. Just a foul given. Draft coming again from Ethan into the, into the center forward position. Two seconds left. Uh, and uh, wisely done again from Ramsu. Nothing else on. He with the foul coming inside the five. Some players could easily forget that and you could have easily have shot it and would have been a reversal instead rather. There was nothing else on. Dumping the ball. Everyone coming back for the defense. Bradley Whelan sitting in the center forward position. We do have a drop. Just a foul there. Calvin sitting up top. He's already slotted one from the outside. He comes with a 360. Well, uh, great back shot attempt there, but it goes down the middle and another comfortable save for the keeper. Braden van Dijk, he's, uh, he's been tested a couple times and he's equal to the task, making those great saves at the moment to keep the Rams within reach here. Rams 2 to be more specific as it is Rams versus Rams drive going across from Ethan trying to open up uh, Gabriel in the middle there pass goes out to Ethan instead Ethan working hard with the back shot himself uh, hitting the post and out and there uh, is a counter the other way moving out Malcolm Ackerman great pass there from the goalkeeper straight to Malcolm he's got some space to work with he's driving towards close near post great save Braden yet again with a fantastic save. And now there's a counter the other way. Can the Rams two capitalize on this? Ethan up to Gabriel. Gabriel with a shot and straight at Dylan Wiggle, but he's making himself very big in goals there. This game is now starting to pick up some intensity again. End to end stuff here. We got uh, Dory on the ball, moving the ball across there to. Sam Spooner back to Dory. Brad Whelan sitting in the center forward position. Sam with one book, two book, bounces in and it hits awake and flies over the crossbar. Pass out to uh, Ethan there. Well, there's a uh, ball under there given in the favor of the Rams. It's a counter. Cole Taylor, number eight, with a steal. But the new rules is you cannot just swim with the ball after the steal. You have to play yourself uh, in form of playing self. As you can either pick the ball up and then throw it in front of you and you can swim onto it there. You can't just swim with the ball as what he, he did right there. And that is why there was a reversal. Gabriel and Ethan working tirelessly here in the, uh, on the two meter line. It's a four and four situation. Cooper Hayworth outside. Now there's a, there's a steal there. Great work from Sam Spooner. And he gets the kick out of the pullback from Cooper. Malcolm Ackerman sitting up on top right now. Sam moving down to the right. Brad Reedon on the left post. Ball moving out to Sam. Sam looking for the open. There we go. Cole Taylor with the shot. And it hits the post and out. The goals have slightly dried up here in the second chucker. 30 seconds to go before we have the halftime break. Can the Rams too respond and get one back before heading into second half? Uh, it's evenly poised, yeah, even though there's a four goal lead, you know, and perhaps momentum moving into second half is all that the Rams too need. Ball landing in front of Ethan Haystack. Drafting hard. Referee is allowing a lot of play there in the center forward, center back position. And it does come away with a steal. Brad Whelan with a long range shot going wide of the post. And uh, that will probably conclude with two seconds to go. And that does see us out 
till half time with the scoreline reading six goals to two in favor of Rams Academy one against Rams Academy two. With the swim off, we have the Rams to this time winning the swim off there. So they'll have the first possession of the second half. Uh, can they get the first goal here and make things interesting? Cooper, Cooper Hayworth's going into the center forward position there. Tyron Anderson putting the apologies. Great work there. Ah, oh, fantastic work between the, the brothers, must be said. Sorry, Tyron Anderson is playing for Rams 1. The work there was done from Travis Kempton, the number 7 cap, passing to his brother, I believe, Ethan Kempton in the center forward position. Getting the full turn there is Ethan and getting the 5-meter penalty. Great save from Dylan Wiggle. Made himself look really big and coming out with an emphatic save. Ball moving to Keenan von Royen in the center forward. He's holding the ball there. Still working, still working. And it falls in the, the hands of the goalkeeper. There is a keeper change here for Rams 2. Ethan Hutton, he is now in goals, taking um, the place of Braden van Dijk. Cooper, Cooper out to the center, currently no center forward. Cooper got some space to work with here. No center forward, they're not going tight press. Ball moving out to the left-hand side. Again, it's uh, the Travis Kempton. Could they do what they did last time? Shoot a cut. Great save again from Dylan Wiggle. Nearly a carbon copy of the last play with um, his brother Ethan trying to pull in the second hole there. But uh, Travis this time getting the foul, playing the shot. A great save from Dylan Wiggle. Ball moving out to the right hand side there from uh, Jose. Oh, a bit of a loose pass there, but still Cooper hey, with does extra. Oh, the referee there blows the ball under. Uh, it does come away in the favor of Rams one. Chris passing the ball. Great ball through the middle. It's Keenan von Royen playing the ball out. Got time to block once, block twice. 
Brogan McEwen there with uh, the goal. Uh, I don't think he was expecting that pass coming from Keenan van Rooyen, who was in front of the goals there, but flicking it out to his teammate. Still had some work to do with the defender in front of him showing hands, uh, but he does come around, opens his angle and slots it. So Brogan finds himself on the score sheet for the first time in this game, I believe. Oh, fantastic work there from Ethan Kempen. This time getting the, goal, the work around the side there and slotting it in the bottom left-hand corner. Now that's how you respond from the Rams' two point of view. This left side here between the Kemptons are working extremely well at the moment. Ball moving up on there. there is a, a nice big drop there from the Rams too. So there's plenty of ball movement. Ball moving out there to number eight. Great pass onto the hand. One book, two book into the pass of the center forward. Keenan just fumbling that final pass there. Uh, and a, a reversal on the left hand side of him just for holding the defensive player there. Now we have the momentum coming up with Travis Kempen. He's driving through his space at the moment. Yeah, Cooper driving on the left-hand side in the center forward position. Here comes Ethan. Ball goes into Ethan. He gets the ball again. But fantastic steal this side from Cole Taylor. Well, that's, a, that's a good match at the moment happening in this track is between uh, Ethan Kempen and, and, and Cole Taylor. But uh, this time Cole coming on the defensive end, giving the Rams one opportunity to try and respond. Yeah, we have Brogan from the outside, moving the ball up top. Tyron Anderson on the ball. Uh, there we go, into the two meter. So uh, referee quick to blow the reversal there as the ball was passed into the two meter. Ethan Hudson, the goalkeeper, looking for someone to fetch the ball from him. There we have Travis on the ball. Again, Ethan against Cole on the left-hand side. That's exactly where the ball goes to. Just a foul this time. Cooper looking. Oh, I mean, he finished it in style with that bounce shot, but unfortunately, the foul coming inside the six meters. So you're not allowed to do that. Therefore, Rams one coming away unscathed. Ball does go into the center forward this time. Oh, great work from the crash there, as well as Ethan anticipating that pass, coming out to fetch and receive. Uh, things could get interesting. Uh, it seems like the intensity from Rams too has increased a bit. They've already seen themselves score the, uh, the goal here, and they are four goals down. If they get another one, this game's not over by any means. There we go. Ball moves to the right-hand side. Trent Horn. He's got some space. He books once, he books twice, and Wiggle up to the task again. Fantastic goalkeeping from him. Quick pass going into the center forward hole there, Cooper. Uh, Cooper just having his hand on the ball there, and the referee says that is a ball under. Yeah, we have an in-game change. Uh, as you can see, there hasn't been many stoppages again, so players are quite tired. We've got Dory coming into the pool for Rams 1. Keenan on the ball at the moment. Trying to turn, holding the ball still. And there is an exclusion coming there. Number four, the guilty party there for Rams 2. Tyron Anderson on the ball, giving the ball to uh, Andrew Ridley. He's looking for options. He takes a close corner shot. Uh, he has a tendency to get those sneaky goals in there. The right hand on the right wing. Uh, he should have no right to score that. But, you know, he has got a great arm on him and a great awareness to, to spot the small gap and slotting it in the goals. That should probably take some pressure off the Rams one here.
Tyron Emirati on the ball looking up at the top there. He's got Josh Zeitzman giving the ball into Gabriel, trying to get the back shot off there. It is still a foul. Ball just floating into the two meters, so having to take it out to restart play again. Bit of a loose pass there, but good work from Tyron there. Calvin doing some great, excellent marking. Foul given there. Nine seconds on the shot clock. Bit of a crowd in the hole. Ethan looking set. That's where the ball ends up. Uh, unfortunately, to skim pass, not playing off. Uh, a little flick away from Cole Taylor there. Sam Spooner on the ball. Quick pass into Calvin Cooper. He's still searching for his hat trick. On, and he finally gets that third goal of the game. Sneaking it under Ethan Hunt in the goalkeeper's arm there. Nearly making a great save and just underneath the arm. But Calvin has got his hat-trick for the game. <laughs> now it seems like things have switched in favor of Rams one here in terms of the momentum must say Rams two did come out firing to start the second half um, so momentum is just back in the favor of Rams one but anything can happen still oh great block there from the defense Sam Spooner knocking the ball away so it's a comfortable steal in the end for Rams one moving out to Calvin there is a there's a double mark at the moment in the center forward position because uh, Bradley Whelan he's a very powerful man in the center forward which is exactly where the ball ends up and somehow he still finds the ball in the back of the net there uh, great teamwork and chemistry from Andrew Ridley who distributed the pass there and great finish from Bradley Whelan oh, Bradley uh, appreciating that and saying thank you in the pool there to Tori Minute 30 to go in the third, Chuck. Uh, it's a comfortable lead at the moment now. For, uh, 10 goals to three uh, in favor of Rams. One pass going into the center forward position. John are looking for something. Giving the pass back to Gabriel. What a save from Dylan Wiggle to save that onto the posts. Keeps it out. You can see Gabriel not knowing what more he needs to do. He's had a great game in the center forward position, must be said. Some great shots, some great work, but just hasn't been able to find the back of the net. Oh, and it's a great save from Ethan. It's a great save. Dory trying the little sneaky no-look push shot. And Ethan were equal to the task there. Great save from the Rams. Sweet keeper, Zane Bowers. He's got some space to work with here. He's, he's taking it into the five meter. He's got space. Book once, book twice. Tries the book. Unfortunately going right side of the post. Oh, great pass there. Opening up Sam Spooner. He finds himself in acres of space. Driving in. It's going all the way, Sam. With the back shots, and unfortunately, Ethan gets a hand to it, but cannot keep it out the back of the net. Sam Spooner, I think that is his second goal of the game. Thirty seconds to go in the end of the third shaka here. Driving there through the middle, you got uh, Gabriel sitting on the right side post. Steel coming from Sam. He's having himself a cracker game at the moment. Ten seconds on the clock. Will he take the long range effort? Passes the ball over. Brad Whedon looking. He takes the long range effort. Bounce wide. Two seconds remaining. Uh, that does see the end of the third chucker there. 
uh, with the scoreline reading 11 goals to 3 in favour of Rams 1 over Rams 2. Final chucker of this game here uh, between the Rams 1 versus Rams 2. So <laughs> a little bit of uh, no love lost in the pool there, but uh, all these boys have trained and played with each other. So it's a great game to see. Calvin Cooper, is, he's uh, had a hat-trick today already. Sam Spoon also having a great game. Moving the ball up on the top three, there's a, a full drop from the Rams 2 at the moment with Brad Whelan sitting in the center forward position. Calvin looking perhaps maybe for the foul and shot. He actually just goes... Oh, the hand to Brad. Oh, through the cap. Great awareness there from Calvin to spot that the center forward had uh, some small space there to get the ball on the hand, flicking it over the goalkeeper's head there. Ball going there to out to the, the number nine, Dylan Kempen. Over the head pass there. Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Sneaky there from Travis. Uh, he ended up with the ball in his hand, putting the ball in the back of the net, but uh, the referee spots that it was a ball under, and he just dragged it underneath the water there to get that advantage. Ethan Horn on the ball at the moment, number 15 cap. And they, they're looking to drop here, the Rams, too. Big drop with just two center forwards. Malcolm Ackerman is the second hole. Ball finds himself. And, and uh, unfortunately, just uh, being called for being in the two meter there. So it is a reversal in favor of Rams, too. They're looking to counter. Cooper Hayworth on the left-hand side. That's exactly where the ball ends up. Great pass from Ethan, the keeper. Cross pass there to number nine, Dylan Kempen. Trent Horn now on the ball. You've got Ethan Campham sitting in the center forward position. That's where the ball ends up. Ah, oh, just a ball not on the water, and it's a flick away off the air. And it's a steal for the Rams one. Quick pass to the center forward. And there's an exclusion there, and uh, the guilty party number four for Rams. Uh, it is Jose. Carvalho. Great book there. Oh, he drops it though. He picks it up again. Great save from Ethan. I believe that save was off his head, but uh, as a goalkeeper, you'll take that any day. Ethan Horn there with the shot. Uh, it's still in possession. They are still man up at the moment. Malcolm Ackerman finding himself in space. He just fumbles it. Uh, a little bit of fumbling happening in the last. Oh, and the players just not getting control there. The Rams too having the ball and somehow gifting the ball back to Brad. Brad Whelan there they will take that any day and slotting in the back of the net. I believe that is Bradley's third goal of the game. Uh, he is now on a hat trick, or should I say, has earned his hat trick.
I do apologize uh, on stream if you can hear the background noise and music. It is quite loud here yeah, at the pool arena. Good working there from Dylan Kempen. Foul outside. Moving the ball to the left hand side. Yeah, Cooper Hayworth, he's got the ball. Foul there. Long range effort from Cooper. Great save from Dilla Wiggle. The rebound landing perfectly. Oh, that's a great finish there from Ethan Kempen. But the referee says he was impeding the defender there. So it is no goal. Cole Taylor on the ball, Keenan van Royen on the left point. Moving him back to Cole. It's a good defensive structure at the moment here. Yeah, showing hands, on the drop. Great hands, as I said that, it was a fantastic block coming from Dylan Kemp and the number nine cap for Rams Sioux. Good structure defense there must be said on the drop there from the Rams Sioux point of view. They'll be happy with that. Cooper looking for the pass over the top onto the right hand side. And it's a steal there for Cole Taylor. Uh, as I said earlier in the match, it's been a really great matchup between him and the Kempen. But uh, both one of them are having a battle there. Oh, great turn there from Dory. Trent Horn there uh, being excluded, the guilty party. Just getting his hips down and Dory, the experience that he has. Oh, and Keenan just booking one too many times, knocking the ball out there. And it's great defense again on the man down um, and danger averted. Ethan Haystack. Uh, there's a full drop there in the center forward position. Travis moving the ball out to Cooper. Cooper's got some space to work with here, does he? He's moving in, one, two, books, tries to go for the cross cage, uh, slightly over the crossbar there. Chris is on the ball at the moment here for Rams, one. Pass across to Keenan van Royen. Passing quickly into the center forward position. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the referee calling that Dory was sitting in the two meter. Uh, they've done that a couple of times, must be said, this half. So unfortunately, missed opportunities there for Rams 1. But uh, leading 13 goals to 3, and they are allowed to have those opportunity missed. But in any other closer game, could be a different story. Ethan with great work in the center forward position there. This time Cole Taylor is the guilty party. He's had a great game at the center back position. But Ethan Haystack working extremely hard. He's also had a good game for Rams too. Putting in the hard yards. Can they capitalize on this? Moving in there. Shooting and scoring. Great goal. Great man up there from Rams 2. They do find themselves on the score sheet again. Uh, number four, Jose Cavalli. Uh, both teams making ample changes. Yeah, basically a full new six in for each team. <laughs> Okay, Dory here. Yeah. Top three at the moment. Uh, there's a good work there, good hands. Great drop, compact defense from Rams too. Yet again, Cole Taylor up on top, moving the ball out to Chris. One book, back to Cole. Keenan is calling for the ball on the top left. Great hands again from the Rams too. They've, uh, especially this tracker there, have put in a great defensive effort to keep out the Rams one. A couple of areas where they gave the ball away and an easy goal, but in terms of structure defense, been really good from the Rams' two point of view here. 
Zayn looking for that pass to John Engelbrecht. We know he can shoot from the, he takes it. He winds it. Great save from Wiggle again. He's just been putting in great save after great save in game after game. He's had a phenomenal tournament so far. Ethan playing it up top to Jono, sitting on point. Drive going across there. Ethan with the shot. Uh, and that's another save tallied to Wiggle. Uh, timeout being called here from the Rams. One coach. Uh, and it's not a man up uh, exclusion or anything like that. I think it's just he's making wholesale changes here. Uh, so it will be six on six uh, when the restart happens. We've got a minute 52 seconds remaining in this game. Uh, Rams, two, Rams two putting in a valiant effort, but currently Rams one winning this game or leading this game, should I say, 13 goals to four. So as I said, uh, the time uh, wasn't for any form of exclusion or anything. I think it was just to make some changes. Still a six-on-six six situation here. Uh, you got Brad Whelan again sitting on Jono sitting down uh, as the M drop at the moment, it seems. Uh, and uh, again, there's uh, another reversal. I think that might be the third or fourth time the second half from the Rams one. Uh, and that's one disappointing thing that they might be upset with is that they've just been giving a lot of reversals. Again, you're not allowed to sit within the two meter line for a certain period of time. If you find yourself there, you have to remove yourself as immediately as possible. They just haven't been doing that. They've been sitting there for too much. Great work from Ethan in the center forward. Just earning a foul, no exclusion. Jono working down on the other post. The Tyron here, the ball still coming. Uh, unfortunately not. Uh, Getting comms from his teammate there to say there was a man on. Counter attack here, Calvin Cooperus. It's a three on two situation. Takes the ball in. Pass going across to Brad Whelan. Onto the hand. Here we have number two, Callum Mierholz. Slots it in the back of the net there. Uh, great work, must be said, on the, the patience of that three on two. It's very easy to get flustered, very easy to, to get. Um, you know, take the shot on yourself, but moving the ball between the three players there, uh, making it a lot easier to put the ball in the back of the net. One minute to go in this game here. So the winner of this game, uh, which is Rams 1, will look to play the winner of the next game between Tux and Pretoria. So that one will also have some, some local rivalries in it. Um, it's great to see. Great intercept there. Pass moving out to, to Whelan here. Drive through the middle. Sam Spooner on the pot on the ball. Moving out there. Flicking it out. One over the pass onto the hand of Calvin Cooperus. All he's got to do is finish. And he does eventually put the ball in the back of the net there after about five, six walks there from Calvin. And that also could easily go wrong. Um, but uh, comfortable in the end there. 13 seconds remain. Ten seconds to go. Ethan with the back shot. Oh, his teammate there calling for the ball. I think they obviously saw that the time was up, but uh, Josh Seidman uh, calling for it from, from Ethan Haystack with that back shot. Uh, and that does conclude this game. It does end 15 goals in favor of Rams 1 over the four goals of Rams 2. It was a great game brought to you by It's Happening Africa.